Okay, hello everybody. This is Bodridge, and this is CD is best. And <laughs> that's there. Okay, CD is best. What do I, what do I mean by that? Best what? Well, it, it's the best file manager. Everything is the best file manager, you know. No, but I'm I, I, I'm actually not kidding. CD is is a very useful, underrated <clears throat> command, and it's also extremely easy. Let's just look at the CD command. We can we can do the whole command like everything about it in in one minute here. So you type CD and then a path to to where you want to change directory. For instance, config polybar here, and there it changed directory to config polybar. Now I have also extended my CD function here, so it also prints out the path and do an ls. And that's uh, really what this video will be about, how to extend built-in commands and stuff and, 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 and things like that. But we will use the cd command. Uh, but I also think it's, it's worth to, to just uh, show some, some of the uh, things you can do with cd. I think uh, most of you know that you can go up in the, in the directory tree with dot dot. And that will take me to config. From polybar, conf, uh, config polybar dot dot I go to config uh, if I want to go back in the history so to speak you can use cd dash and that will take me back to the polybar directory if I do it again it will take me back to the config directory uh, and of course this works even if you are at some weird location like uh, uh, here <laughs> uh, and uh, now I do cd dash, it will take me back to the polybar config directory in my home directory. So, so this is a really good shortcut, but I, I don't know if... Uh, if um, for me, it, it, it took a while before I understood that this is really useful, I should use this more. Another uh, good shortcut thing is that you can type cd without any arguments at all. It will take you to, to your home directory. So, and... Um, Let's do this. Let's go back here. Last also, I would like to show you that you can type uh, dot dot. That, that is a shorthand for the parent directory, just as single dot is a... a, a it, it's like an alias, but not exactly an alias. But it, it, it's like a short way of writing the current directory. Tilde is a short way of writing the home directory. And you know, you can write home directory and then you can continue here to go to config, for instance. But this also works for parent directory. Now the parent directory is etsy slash x11 here. Um, so if I do this slash and then I can even tab complete here and it will list out all directories there in, in um, x11 directory. So from here I can go to xorg this directory. Uh, and you can even do more complicated. I can go back one step, one more step, the parent directory of the parent directory, so to speak, you know, and also tab completions works here, here as well. And here you can see uh, the Etsy directory contains a lot of, of stuff. So just wanted to show you that. And, and I think that's the whole CD command. Uh, but as you can see here on the screen, I have a function declared here. Um, that function is declared in a file called new func which just as with the new prompt is a file that I source into bash rc here. Uh, and I found that it's a, it's a good idea to, to source the functions uh, at the end of your bash rc file. I, I don't remember why or how I found this out, but uh, it's a good idea to source the functions at the end of the file. Like if you put it here, I, I, I think it has something, maybe it's whatever, whatever. Source them at the end of the file and it will probably work fine. And because you know cd is of course a built-in command. If we do this to demonstrate this, type cd. That will say here cd is a function and then it lists out the, the, function, the cd function which is what we have written here. But it uh, removes all blank lines and comments and stuff and it also expands aliases here because my ls command is, an, is actually an alias. I can also see it adds uh, semicolons here. Interesting. Uh, so if we do type ls here, for instance, and we can see ls is alias to ls color auto. And we can do type k 
cat, which is a normal command, you know, cat is user and then just a link to, to the executable file, which is a binary file in this case. But you could also do like, I have my, my own scripts and stuff, you know, i3 list type i3 list, because that is also a command since it's an executable file in my path. It is a command available in, in the shell. But the commands can have different character. But uh, here with type, it actually uh, cat and i3 list belongs to the same uh, category of, of commands. So you have functions, aliases, executables, and then there's this uh, last uh, uh, one that is, uh, let's do type echo. Echo is a shell built in, and that means that this command is actually built into the shell itself. Uh, which in, in my case is bash. But these built-in commands, they differ uh, depending on what shell you use. But I think most of them have, or maybe even every shell have echo built-in and, and some other. You can list these uh, uh, by doing compgen-b. Oh, compgen, there. These are all the built-in commands. And as you can see, it's a list, but it's not that long. And, and most of them are like, uh, yeah, you, we recognize them from, from bash specific things, you know. But some might not be completely obvious that they are built-in. Like CD, for example, that could, maybe there even is uh, both the built-in and, and, uh, and uh, executable binary, I don't know. And that is uh, um, the interesting thing here, because functions, if uh, you enter a command, like cd here, for, for example, now cd exists as both a function here, but also as a built-in shell command. But uh, if it exists as a function, they have the highest priority. Uh, and after functions, built-in uh, shell commands, I think. And after built-ins, then it will uh, uh, look for the command in your path. And the path uh, is also like, uh, it will take the path in, in, in order here. If it finds it here in the first directory in the path in sbin, then it uses that, that binary. Otherwise it uses bin, otherwise it uses, it. and so on and so on. So, so the order of your, uh, how you define your path uh, have, have meaning. Uh, but then you see, yeah, yeah, whatever, this is not what this video is about, but because here you see I define scripts before and then append the path itself. So, so in my, my case here, uh, my scripts directory here and my bin directory is actually have higher priority than the built-in uh, executables. Uh, whatever, that was not really what I wanted to talk about here. So when we enter cd here, it will execute this function because functions have highest priority or they actually have a second highest priority. Aliases has a higher priority than function. So if you would have both a function and an alias, then the alias will get expanded instead. Um, so if we want to, to use the, the actual cd command, because what's the thing that's different here with my cd function and the normal cd command is that it will ls and echo the current working directory. So we can see it here. If we go to cd home directory, it does this. And if we go to cd uh, config slash polybar, it echoes the things here. Um, but if I want to use the, the built-in cd uh, shell command, then I can use this. Uh, you, can, you just type built-in and then cd and then yeah the normal command you know so th this will take me to the home directory without ignoring any functions or aliases there and i am in the home directory as you can see here um, if i go back here uh, there is another way also that you can see here in, in this function i use command which does the same thing as built in i think it does more or less exactly the same thing the, the difference is that built-in only works for uh, built-in shell commands, like for example, echo, cd, and so on. But uh, as we could see there, uh, cat is not a built-in. That, 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 that's a, 
just an external application uh, you can think of it as so uh, if we if we do command or let's let's just do a normal cat cat you know that takes standard in here so I, and, and prints it so we get a duplicate line here stupid but whatever that's what it does without any command line arguments or anything uh, if I execute command cat does the same thing it executes the same command but if we do built-in cat we will get an error message I think because cat is not a built-in yeah cat not a shell built-in so that's why I like to uh, and and command works for built-in. So command works m m all the time, but built-in only works for built-ins. But uh, in turn, I think when you use built-in, then you can be sure that you actually will use the built-in, and the built-ins are recommended that you use, of course. If you, if you would have both a built-in and an external application, the built-in should be faster, at least when you execute it inside bash or your shell <clears throat> but I like to use command all the time so, so I don't mix these up because it's easy to do okay 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 so I have just defined this uh, function inside yeah, bash or C basically then resource the file and then you can use it then I do this uh, stupid little test here uh, and let's uh, comment that out now for now and save this reload bash or c here to see how this works so now i have a cd function but all that cd function does is ls and echo the current directory so if i would go here to cd yeah let's go to this uh, directory there it do, do an ls and print the current directory it doesn't change directory here now so now we have broken the cd command so if we actually want to, to change directory, we have to call the built-in cd command by using either command or built-in works also for cd. So if we add this line, reload, and now it should work. There, now it changed directory and it did an ls and it also echoed the, the current working directory. Uh, if we want to, to remove this function, without reloading uh, the bash rc you can use this just to show you unset f cd uh, unset yeah and uh, f here it stands for function you can also use this to, to kind of remove variables but now we will yeah we will unset the function so this function will not be available or exist in any way for from bash here there and now if i do cd back here for, for instance we will go back to uh, the last directory we were in but without using the cd because we can see here it didn't do the ls but it does print the, the, the current directory this is because that's a default uh, behavior of cd when a hyphen is used as operand this shall be equivalent to the command cd old pwd and pwd command um, so that means that if we would um, yet again source bash rc here and see here now when I do cd hyphen it will echo uh, uh, cd ah no it's it, it, it's right it, see the man page it will change to old printing working the directory and do pwd here and as you can see it prints the, the directory then it does the ls from here and then it echoes the directory again so one of those one of, one of these are from from the built-in cd and one of these is is one we do ourselves. so that's why i've added this test to, to see if if we have hyphen as the argument then we manually change directory to the old pwd and this is also something we haven't talked about before but it's a built-in magic uh, uh, environment variable containing the, the path to the last visited uh, directory so here with this little function you can override a cd then I have some useful aliases and stuff here uh, let's see where, where are we For 40 minutes yeah let's take a, a minute or two to talk about these um, I have um, 
yeah, now I have commented them out here and stuff. Add it like this. So you know you can do this cd dot dot go up in the uh, in the directory tree. Uh, but you also uh, you can also or you can also, but I have an alias, so I can go up in the parent tree with with just a dot dot. I I, I use this all the time. Uh, but uh, here I can see that I uh, I I have this is not an alias it's a function the function dot dot so we could do type dot dot and actually print this and here is what that function does now this is a really stupid function and some people might argue hey this is better to write as an alias and the alias would look like this if we would define it define it uh, let's do this let's unset f dot dot uh, comment this line out reload bash rc type dot 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 is alias to cd dot dot uh, but i'm starting to think uh, that i should uh, i should actually uh, convert all my aliases to functions because functions is is just better so much better uh, and they are also shorter to write. The, this function could, th this is a fine syntax. And here, now it is, uh, uh, yeah, two characters shorter doing the exact same thing. Th this is uh, like a minor thing that it's shorter uh, because the most important thing with functions is that uh, they, they can, uh, they allow you to pass uh, parameters so you can do much more advanced things and, and especially if you want a multi-line function to write that it's very easy to do it's uh, much trickier to, to get that stuff working uh, with an alias but it, you can do a lot of things with aliases as well but honestly functions are, are, are just better uh, and also I guess I haven't tried this I, I, I don't use this often, but I have in Sublime, it can list here. It lists all functions, but this doesn't take aliases into account. Another thing, whatever. Um, and as you can see, I have triple dot, and then I will go up two directories. And quadra dot, I will go up three directories, but I never use this quadra dot. But the double dot and the triple dot, I use these two all the time. Then I have this. Um, I think I've shown you this before. Uh, this command, subalget, is a script I've written. It's available in, in the budline repository on budlabs. It prints the directory uh, with the file currently open in sublime. So this uh, command the output here here will change depending on what file I have open there now it prints this directory and of course you can uh, you can uh, can use the, uh, this command as the argument to CD so CD backticks so we'll get now it now it should change directory to this directory because that's what's open in sublime here and it did and this is something uh, uh, and I have bound this to an alias maybe I should change it to a function also so I can do uh, yeah now I have to change directory of course so if I go here into this uh, mpv lua thing here do a cdss or cds then it uh, for a cd sublime it will change to, the, to that directory and I find find this very very useful and easy I can just I don't have to bother where I am in the terminal or anything very fast don't have to open a, a lot of different terminals this have saved me so much time uh, and I think I have one last here yeah I have this cdg I don't know why it was commented out there Do, don't we have that now type cdg no uh, because this is another command uh, available in git there's not no special dirt tax or anything here but if you uh, enter this command on the command line, it will print the, the top level directory of the current git repository. So here we can see that that directory is dot, but we are, yeah, this, this is where the, the root of the git repository lives. 
basically where uh, the the dot git directory is but as you can see we are two directories deep here so if i add this command to a cd then it will take me to to the to the yeah, repository root, so to speak, and that's also kind of useful, but I don't use it that often actually, I, I, maybe I should. Uh, and I have alias that to cdg here, so if I do... Uh, uh, ah, that's right, now now we have, it, it, it gets a bit weird here, sometimes you get errors when you have both a function and an alias, it, it, it kind of gets like a, a inception mode here. It doesn't know what to do. Uh, so what we do here is uh, on alias. Yeah, that's that, that's also good to know. Uh, now that removed the alias here. Uh, it, it's the same as unset, but for aliases. Now we shouldn't get any error here. And now I should be able to do cd dash. And if I do cdg, it will go back and also important here here i use the cd command in these aliases and in this function here and when i do so it will actually call the function cd it will not uh, call the built-in command cd maybe we could also add like a, a an alias or a function called uh, i don't know alias cdo for a cd original uh, is equal to and then then you can do built-in cd haven't re really tried this, but it should work. So bash rc, if we do cd dash, we go back to the last directory, do it again, we go back to this directory and we can see the ls output and everything. If I do cdo dash, then it uses the built-in. And now we don't get the ls, as you can see. And we could do uh, any, any path here, like uh, 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 git or whatever. So, uh, and by doing so, then we have, uh, we, we can always use the built-in here, uh, in case we don't want the list out. If we know that we are navigating to, for example, the Etsy directory, uh, which we, which I know have so many directories, it just uh, clutters up the screen. Maybe uh, in that particular uh, 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 scenario, it's better to, uh, to, to use CDO. So we just get this whatever that's how i use cd and uh, i think uh, that cd and the bash or yeah bash is great for for navigating the file system manipulating this is the best file manager and getting to know these things and see just just feeling comfortable with with cd is is key actually uh, also remember that you can always tab complete. I think you can do that by default. Maybe I have set some environment variable. Yeah, we, we, we have some more stuff I, I feel that we should talk about with, with um, uh, 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 about setting up the, 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 the shell like this. I don't know. I don't think I have that many special things like uh, you can set these things in the shell, you know, the history size and stuff. Uh, let's see if it's in input or C. Because you can add some stuff to tab completion. Yeah, completion query time. Uh, single tab suggestion i use this stuff and, and and things like that i don't know we uh, it, it will be at least one more video about uh, these kinds of things fixing the, a nice uh, 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 terminal environment so i think i hope that that uh, some of these videos might have been an eye opener for, for some 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 people because uh, I know a lot of people use like uh, ZSH just because it's uh, there are so good prompt themes and as you can see you can do any all of that stuff with bash itself but whatever you do uh, it will bloat the prompt basically and Siege uh, auto bloats it for you for for example and this navigating and tab completion and history searching and stuff that's uh, you got all of that good stuff in, in bash as well if you just uh, add a setting here or there or just learn how they work whatever 
Where are we now? 25. Have a great day, everybody. See you in the next video.